Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today because I'm gonna be packing for my trip to Miami, which is probably like the second time I've flown during the pan panaderia. I'm not gonna call it what it is. I'm gonna call it panaderia. Um, my arm hurts. I don't really vlog, so this is gonna be interesting. My last vlog, <laughs> my last vlog was so embarrassing, right Fluffy? <laughs> Fluffy can attest to how embarrassing the last vlog is. I made my family watch it. We all sat down in the living room while I was living with them. They're like, oh, now I know who takes all the honey. Cause you could see me pouring honey, like a whole bunch of honey onto my acai bowl. Fluffy, you wanna say hi? Yes? She ah! Oh. Don't give me a bum bum. Don't give me a bum bum. You ain't gonna give me no bum bum. Oh, and the embarrassing part for me was cutting his hair for the first time during the panaderia. I was trying to save money and I was also trying to avoid, you know, getting in contact with other people. My whole motto is I don't want to be exposed and I not, what? <laughs> I don't want to be exposed and I don't want to expose people. That being said, I'm like, I'm just going to buy some hair clippers for dogs on Amazon. It was an Amazon actually. It was like Petco or PetSmart, something like that. If you go watch the vlog, you're going to understand why I should never cut a dog's hair. Um, it looks fine in the moment, right? But <laughs> looking back, I'm like 14. I'm sad because I'm gonna have to leave him with my mom, his grandma. He has separation anxiety because of the panaderia. Like, I've been working from home, so someone's always home with him. And I, I, I know he's gonna be fine. I know he's gonna be fine, my friend, because you're gonna be fine. <laughs> I love you too. I love you. I'll be back for you. <laughs> Ew! Look at me, son. I will be back for you. I'm not leaving you with my sisters. Especially Mia. I'm not leaving you with Mia forever. <laughs> I love you too. Let me pack. Love me. Please. I'm so excited to finally be able to do a travel related video. I know because of the panaderia, I stopped and I started my whole channel on traveling and that's what like just makes me so happy. So finally gonna start a travel video again and hopefully many more to come, but also more lifestyle videos because my life is changing. When I started this channel, it was very much like I'm single, um, I'm gonna travel, explore with my friends, myself um, for work, but now I am married and starting a different journey of my life does that make sense i'm starting like a different part of my life and so want to bring you guys along and i also like i mentioned in other videos i like to look back he's eating my stuff i want to look back and be able to look at like how my life has changed so definitely gonna bring you guys along this journey so let's start packing for miami fluffy are you eating this what's so good about cardboard was it at least good i won't be mad if it was good Okay. <laughs> like pick an outfit from here and then put it in there and I'm like okay that's Monday but then I end up getting confused because I'm like I can't visually see it and I'm a visual person this helped me so much because I even put the accessories on the the outfit I even have a hat that I bought for ten dollars that caught it on which was a steal because the original price and I know this is for the fall I wear what I want $35 no plus tax but I paid ten dollars and this shirt was from Cotton On to $10. I feel like I found my store, guys. Hey, belly rub. Belly rub. You're so cute. You're so cute. You know you're cute. Look at those ears. Look at those ears. Might wear this at the airport because it's really comfy. Um, I bought this one at Ari. Yes. Just found out about that store. Hey, sir. Sir. I mean this on Tuesday when I arrived to Miami so that you know it might be humid and straight to the beach we can go this is cute and I also have this for the beach which are white shorts that match up with that sports bra and they're also from Ari and they have pockets yes 
and they're not little pockets girls because we all know they be making little pockets for us we got stuff to carry too anyways I also am taking this I've already worn it if you go to my Instagram you'll see I have photos with this but it matches with them with the colors that I'm wearing so I'm taking it again and I'm taking this bathing suit it's a one piece just in case I feel self-conscious because quarantine has given me a little belly so it's a one piece and it's pretty cute and it could go uh, these shorts can go over it so that it covers you know down there what else of course my mask an extra mask you could never be sure if you misplace one or just need an extra one while you wash the other one I bought oh and then a tank top for this outfit in case I don't want to wear my wet uh, bathing suits now this one is so cute it is double layered but it is pretty thin still um, I'm gonna take this to a wedding that I'm going to if you're petite you can measure it like make it smaller or bigger um, so I really like it the shirt I also bought at cotton on and if you know me I really like things that talk about the environment really am for saving our earth and then this sports bra from Victoria's Secret which is going out of business but you know I bought these a while ago and they're pretty comfortable and then for my next outfit like I said, I bought that for $10. Uh, my sister had given me this necklace, so I'm going to wear this. I bought this shirt at Cotton On too, And I bought these jeans. They're so cute. I don't fit into jeans anymore. Like the ones that I have in my closet. Or if I do have some, they have holes. So I'm just really glad that I found a nice pair of jeans. They're not skinny from the bottom. Which I'm used to skinny jeans. But I like the change. I like how it's more like comfortable rather than like skinny jeans like I want to look cute but also like lose my circulation just to look cute like I think those days are over yeah these not for Bernie I mean look like funny on Bernie <laughs> so I'm gonna wear this black dress it's super casual but it doesn't look casual because it's black it has like a hole in the back and then I'm gonna wear these white shoes with the black dress. Finally got my Air Force ones. Ay. And then because the back is open, I put on these like nipple covers in case you know it gets cold and you know the girls get hard. Then these shorts under so that I don't show anyone my hoo-ha. And then of course I have to bring my Bernie sweater for like when I get cold at night. If I just wanna put some, a hoodie on that's my hoodie that's my go-to hoodie my mom bought it for my birthday so thank you mom it's so cute i would have never bought this on my own but i think it was just like really thoughtful i have my socks right here i need fuzzy socks and then my socks for like my outfits and then some low cut socks for my next outfit and this is my last outfit that i am packing this is going to be an outfit for a shoot that i'm doing i'm actually recording a video for buzzfeed while i'm in florida so really excited about that. Um, black jeans with denim, because I feel like that's the only thing that really goes with denim is black jeans. But let me know if you have been able to figure out a different style. I really don't like denim on denim. If it looks like this as your jeans, like I, I don't think it looks good on me. Next is my PJs. I have my sloths, of course, because I love sloths. Uh, two oversized t-shirts, my sweatpants. I have two sweatpants and shorts in case I cannot deal with sweatpants because it does get too hot. I bought this for my trip, but didn't necessarily find a way to make it match because I wanted some sweats with this. But because we're in spring, it's really hard to find sweats. Also taking this shirt that I bought in Miami just in case I need to like pair it up with my jeans or something else like another pair of biker shorts and I'm taking these gray biker shorts just in case and then these shorts which are the only shorts that fit me currently because I just I gained some weight and these are really comfortable and they're longer than the other ones the other ones show my my booty don't want that and then I got this bag at Ari as I was shopping so I'm gonna take this for the beach and here are just accessories that I'm going to take like makeup wipes i no longer buy makeup wipes i think these were gifted to me and then this is for my face it's like a microfiber cloth which is good for your face so it doesn't like damage your skin like i said here's my extra face mask 
I am bringing a steamer so that we can steam our clothes for the wedding. And I'm bringing my hair blow dryer just in case with some attachments. I have this curling iron, which is really, it heats up really fast and is strong, but I really like thick curls. So I'm gonna see which one works out best. Hand sanitizer, some razors, my boob tape for that dress for the wedding because it is really low in the back as well and I don't want to wear a bra and then show the straps so I'm gonna try this boob tape that was supposed to be for my wedding I have my divas cup here and then a cup to boil it so that I clean it also my pink glasses and then my prescription glasses that are sunglasses my scrunchies you can never go wrong with scrunchies my bobby pins what is this called oh my gosh my brain it left again you know a little face razor for the hair the mustache you can never go wrong with these always bring these with me and then pimple popper right here how to do it safely without damaging your skin some mascara eyeliner that's it guys that's pretty much it. I really like this system that I tried because I can see it all and then I can double check. I tend to forget a lot of stuff and so this really helps me figure out like okay do I have socks for that? Do I have the right underwear for that outfit? Um, so I really like this system. I'll be doing it from here on out. I'm gonna start putting it all into my suitcase. I think that's pretty much it. I do want to take another pair of shoes. They're my white um, Hirachis. Hold up. Harachis, if you say I'm in Spanish, it's huarache. I'm just gonna start packing all of this into this suitcase. Hey guys, so I forgot to record an outro, but I hope you enjoyed this video and it inspired you for your next trip to Florida, Miami, or any tropical location. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite outfit and if I forgot any essential outfit that you must take to Florida. And don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe.